The global organic market is expected to total $103 billion this year, up 8% from last year. Yeah, here in the U.S., the growth is due in part to high-tech indoor farming. But Kenny Choi found out in this KPI X5 original report the growing trend raising questions about that true meaning of the word organic. Kenny? Alan, uh, most shoppers rely on this USD organic label to buy their produce, but what they most likely don't know is that more and more is grown hydroponically, aquaponically, or in containers. Does that matter? And it's not grown in soil. It all depends on who you ask. Peppers and corn, sweet corn and eggplant and uh, basil. Paul Muller is co-owner of Full Belly Farm, a 500-acre farm northeast of Sacramento that's been growing certified organic produce for 38 years. There is a whole system that we are um, actively uh, farming, stewarding, uh, fostering here. I mean, if you look out here and just stop for a bit, these plants are covered in bees who are out doing their pollinating. 80 varieties of organic vegetables, fruits, and nuts grow here, sold locally to Bay Area supermarkets and farmers markets. Some 100 miles south in Half Moon Bay, Ken Armstrong also grows pesticide free produce that he sells to local restaurants. He's not certified organic, though he could be. He says it's too much red tape, but he believes the aquaponic farming method he is using is equally natural and delicious. The waste product produced by the fish is bacteriologically converted into plant food. The plants absorb that nitrogen and those minerals out of the water system, which cleans it, and then that cleaned water is returned to the fish tank. So it's a closed loop recycling system. It is my firm belief that honestly, the aquaponics is what organics wishes it could be. So what is organic? What it really comes down to is the label. Farmers have to follow strict rules to get this sticker put on their produce, and with it, they can charge a premium. But the USDA issued a statement allowing large-scale indoor growers to get certified as organic. That put the squeeze on traditional outdoor organic farmers who are crying foul. Farming is hard, and people are always thinking about a little bit better way to do it. But if it's a little too innovative, then you have somebody complaining. He says there are big players involved, but there's no official data on how big partly because they don't advertise. When it comes to organic, a big part of it is the image. And so I think it is fair to say that we are in an era of, at least when it comes to food, where people don't brag about the technology. If anything, they want to talk about wholesomeness and, and safety and all those things rather than the technology that creates it. In fact, the association that certifies organic farmers in California declined to give us names of indoor operators, though they did confirm many of the farms are in Mexico. But Sumner says one thing seems certain. Indoor growers are able to undercut traditional organic farmers in the marketplace. You have this advantage growing indoors that you can grow at a different season. So you may be able to harvest it a little earlier. And as we all know, you go to the supermarket and if you can get uh, some seedless mandarins in November, uh, you pay extra for them. Outdoor organic farmers aren't giving ground. They're pretty good. They say there's something very important missing in the equation, and that's the soil. We just feel like organic has always been about the soil. The Organic Food Productions Act specifies that organic crop production must foster soil fertility. Looks a little bit like a jungle, doesn't it? Something Muller does at his farm with a cover crop. Well, a cover crop is something that we're growing just to feed the soil, basically, or feed animals, and the animals in turn are feeding the soil. Since indoor farmers can't comply with the soil rule, Full Belly, along with several other organic farms and the Center for Food Safety have filed suit claiming the USDA is undermining the very integrity of the National Organic Program by allowing organic certification of non-soil operations. At the supermarket, we found consumers mostly unaware. When you buy your, your produce, your greens, your butter lettuce, right. would you rather have it grown in soil or not? I'm not sure. Um... Which is better? They didn't seem to care too much about the soil issue. I'm not sure if that would be an issue for me or not. But did agree better labels would be a good thing. Because if it says organic, I want to make sure that it's totally organic. We need to know what, where, 
eating. And if it's grown in soil, I would like to know that it's also grown in soil. It's something Full Belly and 100 other farms like it across the country have picked up on, creating real organic labels of their own. So the Real Organic Project is focusing on calling the USDA to task, educating consumers that there are farms that are, are growing in the soil that they should support, and, um, and asking the, the hydroponic industry to be fair, to be, be honest and forthright, and label their, label their products so people know what they're buying. So back in March, a federal judge ruled in favor of the USDA, siding with the USDA, saying that it can continue certifying hydro hydroponically grown produce as organic. That was the result of a lawsuit filed by organic farmers, including Full Belly Farm. Uh, that was back in March. So, Kenny, I want to ask this because you mentioned it. Much of the hydroponic or organic produce is actually grown in Mexico? Yeah, so Alan, all you have to do is go to the uh, grocery store. You'll see a lot of the produce that you buy is grown in Mexico, including uh, these tomatoes right here, organically grown tomatoes. You're not sure, though, whether it's hydroponically grown or not. Um, but in Mexico, if the farmers are growing them hydroponically, they are not allowed to sell them as organic in that country or in countries like Canada. But they are allowed to ship that produce to the United States and grow them and sell them rather as organic. Interesting. Different rules, different countries. Kenny, thanks.